Hi, this is WD9E. Yesterday I made a YouTube video showing how to connect the Elecraft KX3 to the iPad. Unfortunately, I didn't realize I was using a mono mic input, so that was messing up uh, the performance of the ISDR software. So today I uh, have fixed that, and I do have a stereo mic input, and I'll show you how everything goes together. So first what we do is we attach this is a sub mini stereo adapter to a mini jack. We just simply plug that into the RXIQ port on the KX3. Then I take a mini stereo to mini stereo patch cord and plug that in to the adapter. Okay. Now going to the iPad, you go to the Apple Store and you purchase the Apple Camera Connection Kit and you'll get one of these uh, adapters which is a 30 pin Apple connector to a USB and simply plug that in to the iPad. Next, go and acquire a Griffin iMic this is a USB sound card basically and simply plug that into the iPad <clears throat> then what you want to do connect the cord that we plugged into the KX3 and plug it into the input of the Griffin uh, sound card I also have a set of powered amplified speakers so I'm going to simply plug that to the output of the Griffin alright so let's go back to the KX3 turn it on okay now we're going to have to enable the RXIQ port so go to the menu scroll to the RxIQ menu item and then change it to on alright that's all we need to do, I'm going to turn down the volume okay now going to the iPad flip this on go to the ISDR application and then uh, we need to do a few things to get this ready so you have to go down here first we're going to enter the center frequency so what you do is you just enter the number the frequency display that's on the KX3 so this is 7.040 okay then the next item is we have to enable the microphone so you just looks like this, we're going to enable the mic now we have to turn the program on so you just go here to the on off button and you'll see we have some activity going on the other thing we need to do is change this from lower sideband to CW okay so now we have a different uh, cursor here and we just move the cursor to over the signal we want and you could hear the activity Okay, let me go to a different one. Okay, let me go to a different one. Go to this one down here. You could also change the bandwidth frequency. If you prefer, you could actually change this to a uh, waterfall display. And in a second, you'll see all the uh, signals. And again, you could just move the cursor up and down.
Alright, so uh, you could also do this with a uh, single sideband. So I'm just going to change... Oops. Alright, so now that I've changed my frequency here, I'm going to change uh, the center frequency on here. So we're at 7200. Zero, zero. And we'll go back to this display so you can see what's going on. I'm going to change this from CW to lower side bin. And now we'll go for one of these signals. Let's go to a different one. <laughs> you could change bandwidth. And just to let you know, from side to side here, we have about 43 kilohertz bandwidth. Alright, you can also do the waterfall display on those, and you'll see it starting to uh, populate there. Let's go to a different signal. Alright, you get the idea. So anyways, uh, good luck with this, and uh, have fun.